This is how an Xbox One S controller looks like by default and this is what it looks like after today's video where I show you how you can upgrade this controller into this beast. So firstly, let's start off with today's video. It's a little bit different from usual. So we'll put our controller here. This is the white version Xbox One S controller and it has Bluetooth as well. So I picked up two particular things. Firstly is this. So this is actually a very simple replacement kit, I would say. It's meant for the Xbox One Elite controller. So in here you have the screwdrivers that are meant for the Xbox One controller here, some foam pads. And here you have the magnetic D-pad here. So as you can see, it is fully magnetic. And you have this circular D-pad or this standard D-pad. And you also have these two sticks here which you can slot in any of the included thumbsticks via magnets. So you have this long one or you can use the short one or the medium length one. So this is the reason why I want to upgrade. So you get this D-pad and also this thumbstick here. But you do not get those pedals at the back of the controller. As you can see here, this controller does not support the pedals at the back. So you cannot make this a full Xbox One Elite controller. So our second upgrade is to make the analog triggers here to stop midway. So as you can see here, there's a lot of travel before it bottoms out. So that is not good if you want to play some fast paced games. So what we have here is actually a trigger stop. So I got this trigger stop from Shopee actually. It's quite cheap. I will link everything down in the description below where you can pick it up. This was originally created by Bionic, but I can't find Bionic in Malaysia, so I just bought it off of Shopee, and it's about 20 ringgit. As you can see here, this is clearly a knockoff, so you can see it's your Aditore da Firenze at the top here. I don't know why, but there you go. So to install this, it's actually pretty simple. You just pop off the two sides here, the back of the grips, and then you can just slot it in. And I will leave this aside for now, because we first, have to dismantle the controller itself. So let us begin. Alright, so I got the two pieces removed and then I will just put this aside for now and the controller will be sitting here. And now I'll be taking a security Tox screwdriver to remove four screws which are here, here and these two areas as well. So it's fairly simple. Alright, so now we got all the four screws removed, but there is actually another screw that is hidden behind this piece of sticker right here. So once that screw is loosened up, you can just gently take this apart. Alright, so now we remove the back plate and the front plate actually comes off easily as well. So just be careful not to drop your controller and just gently remove the front plate here. And there you go, you have access to all the buttons here. And we should start by removing the analog sticks. So as you can see here, it just comes off like this. And then we can take our replacement Xbox One X metal plates here, metal thumbsticks, and just take one and pop it in. And it is as easy as that. So now for the second one, and done as well. And now for this D-pad here. So the D-pad is a little bit different. Uh, so you have two hooks around the top and the bottom here. So you have to carefully remove it before proceeding. One tip for you here is that there's just two hooks at the side here. So you can just lift it up gently. And the whole thing comes off. And once you got that ring removed, just take out the D-pad here and that's done. So now to put on the new D-pad, I'm just going to take this green piece of thing with this blunt side here without these three edges pointing downwards and just place it in. Kind of difficult to do it on video while well, I need to look at the camera and also the controller itself. Okay, so now that's done. I'm just going to put this ring back at the top. Remember. This ring has two different parts here, two different latches. So the thin one is aiming upwards while this broader one is aiming downwards. So I'm just going to align it and put it back in. This is fairly straightforward actually. And there you go, the D-pad is in place. And everything should look the way it is. 
and now we can start to test fit some stuff let's start off with the joysticks feels good and now with the other joystick feels good as well and now for the d-pad i'm just gonna go for this big one right here snaps on and everything feels the way it's supposed to be and now we can just invert it back here put back the back plate on and screw everything back together and now for the final piece of upgrade is this one the trigger locks so let me just open this real quick it's actually op can be opened from the bottom i'm not too sure why the packaging is this way but let's just deal with this real quick all right so here it is oh it comes with a spudger as well i have no idea why i didn't use the included spudger here but i got my own gift card so that's the same and these things are actually pretty simple so you can see here once you pull this orange tab here the whole thing moves and the whole mechanism is pretty simple as you can see here unfortunately it's only available in this color so yeah it looks a bit weird with my white xbox controller here but yeah whatever goes so as you can see here everything is locked in place it's nice and flush with the controller itself and here you can see that this trigger is actually locked so you can only go halfway down but if i unlock this then you can go all the way down and after snapping on both sides as you can see here it's looking pretty good this is surprisingly easy to roll off so it is made for fighting games and i think it's feeling pretty okay let me just pull off our test right here and it works really really well so this is actually much more strategic if you want to play some shooting games or whatever so as you can see here a longer thumbstick will give you a lot of movement with little bit of sensitivity so it is good for precision shots and then the trigger button if you lock it in it will give you a really short travel distance so that is all for our upgrade for this time around i hope you like this not so conventional video type of ours and i will see you in the next video and the best part is since i bought this kit i can just stuff everything back in so yeah